With the summer in the full swing, we want to talk to you guys about something very important. You love swimming, right? But do you know the signs of drowning? You can save someone's life! If you know what to do. I know what to do. Are you sure? I know. When people drown, they wave their hands like this. Uh, no. Hi, my name is Christy Leibfritz and I'm the general manager here at Goldfish Swim School in Mundelein. Unlike you've seen in the movies, there is no frantic waving. All that energy is used to be moving your hands to try and keep yourself afloat. I know, when people drown, they yell like this, help, help, uh-uh. Technically, you're breathing or you're screaming. If you're in distress, you're not gonna stop breathing in order to scream for help. I know, when people are in trouble, they yell. No and no. You also might see in the movies that people are yelling for help. This actually isn't a sign of drowning because their mouth or nose might be below water surface level. So there's no room for them to talk. Drowning is silent. When people are in trouble, would they try swimming, swimming for safety? When there's somebody in distress, you'll see them start ladder kicking or kicking vertically in the water because they can no longer kick horizontally and make that progress to the side of the pool. What do you do if someone's in trouble? Or you think someone's in trouble? When you see somebody trying their hardest to move in the water but they're not making any progress, there's probably something wrong. You might see a blank stare on their faces. A lot of times people cut those outside distractions and focus on staying alive. Something else you might notice of a guest in distress is their nose or mouth might be underneath or close to being underneath the surface of the water. Next thing I want to talk about is what do you do in the case that you see somebody drowning. The first step is to ask if they're okay. If you don't get a response, that means they're probably in trouble. The next step is to call 911. If you're close enough, try grabbing the child and bringing them safely to the side. If you think you're too far away, let the lifeguard know and they can take care of it for you. It's better safe than sorry. Enjoy your summer, remember to be safe, and thank you for stopping in at Goldfish Swim School in Mundelein. Have a good one. Did you learn something new? Have fun and be safe. Bye. Bye.